to tonight's United Premier Soccer League match between the Atlanta City FC and your Georgia Revolution. And now welcome your starting lineups for your Georgia Revolution. Playing forward, number nine, Martin Saucedo. Left wing, number 22, Shamara Planer. Right wing, number 17, Micah Schneider. Center mid, number 10, Thomas Deduck. Center mid, number 21, Elmer Torres. Center mid, number 18, Charlie Longino. Playing left back, number 6, Alik Skerrick. Center back, number five, Luke Charles. Center back, number four, Justin Peet. Right back, number two, Marley Stevenson. And in goal, where number one, Joshua Ward. And now, you can please rise for the playing of the national anthem. Hello everyone and welcome here to Peachtree City, Georgia at MOBA Stadium. A little different digs for the Rebs tonight for this UPSL Premier Division match between your Georgia Revolution and Atlanta City FC. Atlanta, F Atlanta City FC comes in as the defending fall champions. They made an amazing run in the playoffs beating the number one, two, and three seed on their way to winning the Georgia division in the USL Premier last season. Reds up for a big task tonight as last week they did fall 4 0 to Dalton. Atlanta City last week started rough against North Georgia United but ended up coming out on top, scoring a lot of goals late. And that's something that the Reds are going to have to watch today. changes for the Revs today as Elmer Torres comes into the midfield. And Justin Dees starts at center back in place of Lewis Green, who is on the bench tonight.
And we're off here in Peachtree City at MOBA Stadium. It's gonna be the last technical home game for the Revolution for about a month. They're playing here today to let their stadium kinda let the natural grass grow back a little bit. Next month, they'll be able to go back to Eagles Perch at Warhawk Stadium. Atlanta City throw in now. Well, these teams have very similar styles as they both like to play more direct and they're very quick on counterattacks. It's gonna be interesting to see how they match up against each other tonight. Rez made a lot of mistakes last week and almost made another one there. Very uncharacteristic. We're gonna have to clean that up. Torres. Over to Scarrett. Madalongino. Back to Torres. Fred's looking keen to play out of the back tonight. That's gonna be hit way too far there. Another one of those mistakes. Rev's got punished four times last week on mistakes. Let's see if Atlanta City can take advantage of that. You know, over to Saucedo now. Saucedo dumping it for Palmer. Can Palmer get there? He's gonna get there. Takes it back to himself. Back to Longino. Saucedo now. Saucedo fouled. It's gonna be a very interesting spot for a free kick here. Usually Thomas Didick, number 10, usually is the one that takes shots from here. Those Revolution fans watching will know that usually we have the two tall trees in the center. Mr. Luke Charles and Lewis Green at the same time. Right now, only Luke Charles out there. Definitely somebody you want to watch on set pieces. But Thomas Didick has been known to score from this distance. The first Revs UPSO premier goal this season in Birmingham was a left-footed a left -footed shot from Thomas Didick. So he gets over the ball now and he tries to go for it. Takes a deflection, it's gonna go out for a corner. going to take the corner for the Revs. That's where you got to watch Luke. And he finds Luke. Gets down in the box, kind of ping balls around. And there's going to be a foul on the Revs. That's what the Revs want to do. They want to find Luke. City gets back underway now. Did it putting the pressure on? Not letting Atlanta City be comfortable. Some of the revs didn't quite do well last week. Yeah, it's going to be an Atlanta City throw in, but that's the pressure you want. Those are the kind of things that will force turnovers. Dalton United did a great job of that against the Revs last week. Dees clears that out. Almost gets to Palmer. Palmer's going to get ahead onto it, but it's going to be a throw in for Atlanta City. And they're going to try to go quick now. Atlanta City finding open space here. Justin Dees tries to clear that one out. Marley Stevenson there. Marley Stevenson made a bunch of electric runs last week. It's definitely a danger there on the right side. Now Justin Dees.
Tries to get in, but loop there. Atlanta City finding the open lanes. They're going to get a shot here. Luke's there, though. That's going to be out for a goal kick. Luke Charles on the ball, captain for the Revs. Alik wasn't paying attention there. Luke Charles goes over top, trying to find Diddick. Diddick's called offside there. Atlanta City keen to start quickly on every restart for him. Stevenson wins that ball. Now Schneider. Turnover there for the Revolution. This Torres on the ball. Foul. Stevenson take the free kick for the Revolution. Trying to find Didick. Longino finds it. Tries to get it over to a league. Doesn't get the touch right. Good battle there. They're going to say it's a goal kick. As Leeks Garrett's still down. Fought hard to win that battle. Paid for it a little bit. Now Joshua Ward. Joshua Ward, man of the match two weeks ago. Had an uncharacteristic match, bad match, last Saturday against Dalton United. We'll look to bounce back from that performance. Luke Charles on the ball for the Revs. Torres doesn't quite get the pass to Longino, and now Lanny said he have a chance here. It's Luke Charles with the block. Gonna go out for an Atlanta City corner. Ninth minute, still no score here in Peachtree City. Luke Charles gets that header out. Atlanta City still on the ball. I said he keeps possession. Atlanta City with a chance here. It's going to be a goal kick. First real dangerous chance for any team so far in tonight's match. It was great there by Atlanta City, the build up. Revs back on the ball now. Stevenson. Find Schneider. Tries to find Saucedo. It's going to roll over. And he gets on the end of it. Oh, and it just outside of his touch. If he could have gotten his toe on it a little more there, he might have been in on goal. Stevenson. Oh, almost takes that one too. Stevenson playing with his hair on fire tonight. Atlanta
Atlanta City finding those lanes open. Picking the defense apart for the Revolution. Got to be a little more communication on the back line there for Georgia Revolution. Torres with the bad touch there. It's going to be a turnover. This is the kind of things that the Revs are not going to want to do. As we've seen so far in this game, Atlanta City is good at picking apart that back line. You do not want to give them extra chances to do it. As I said last week, North Georgia United, who was in last place in the league, were up 2-1 on this Atlanta City team. and Atlanta City ended up scoring five more goals after that. So this Atlanta City team can score and score in buckets give them the opportunity, much like Dalton United did last week. Another one of those e upper echelon UFPSL premier teams that the Revs are playing now. Salcedo, a rough touch there. Dalton's gonna find Torres, trying to find Didig. Salcedo gets it down over to Palmer now. Back to scare it. Palmer again. Again with a with a light touch there. Torres trying to find Palmer. Gonna go out for a throw and a lot of miscommunication. Not a lot of concentration on the revs right now. A lot of these passes are too light or too heavy. They just need to focus in a little more. Justin Dees. Did it? Did it? Gets fouled. No call. There's the call. Did it? Tries to find Palmer. Oh, it's gonna go just out. Atlanta City throw in. Garrett on the throw in for the Revolution. Both teams kind of slowing their pace down now. 14 minutes in. Longino for the Revs. Find Stevenson. Stevenson to Schneider. A little build up here for the Revs. Schneider tries to get around. Doesn't finish it off though. Line City with the possession now. Like I said, they're a very good counterattacking team. Rez got to get back now. Luke Charles there for the Revolution. Now Scarrett over to Palmer. Palmer keeps possession. Over to Scarrett. Scarrett finds Schneider with the switch. Over to Didick. Tries to find Schneider in the corner. It's a foot race. Schneider's not going to win that one. And that's going to be a foul. Atlanta City player is not happy with that one. And at the Sellers Law Firm, you are not just a client, you are family. The Sellers Law Firm, proud title sponsor of your Georgia Revolution. Quite surprising to see Atlanta City so frustrated with that. If it was a penalty, I would understand, but it's not in the box. See if that breaks the composure of Atlanta City a little bit. Prime opportunity here for the Revs. 
do have the size advantage in the box. Go straight for goal there. Fortunate. The opportunity goes by for the Revolution. It was a good, good uh, little batch of play there for the Revs. Got the foul out of it. Atlanta City plays from the back now. Revs put on the pressure. A little frustration there by Micah. Rev saying he's having none of that tonight. The city going to get us back underway here. 17 minutes in, still 0-0. Zero, zero. One great chance so far by Atlanta City. On the flicked header. Just couldn't get on the end of it. Pressure here by the Revs. Oh, almost forces a turnover. Justin Dees tries to clear that one. Atlanta City on again. Justin Dees is going to win that one as Joshua Ward collects that ball. Little collision. Longino finds Palmer. Palmer to Torres. Torres tries to find Stevenson. He's going to get there. He's going to recycle it back to Justin Dees. Tries to find Didic. Just can't quite get it over the top there. I think the Rebs need to continue to do what they did when they won that foul and kind of just play on the ground and pick Atlanta City apart from the, the ends. Scare it. It's going to be Atlanta City throwing. Joshua Ward heads that one out. Longino's there. And Joshua Ward gets back in as Torres fights for the ball. He's going to win that battle. Trying to find Palmer. Palmer's in. Scott Sacedo running with him. Top of the key. Oh, he tries to find Schneider. The other end of the box, but it's a deflection. a revolution throw here as Marley Stevenson tries to get going trying to find Saucedo in the box Saucedo falls down ref says get up <laughs> refs get it here Snyder taking off Atlanta City, trying to find out why. Does Marley Stevenson's there for the Rebs? Forces Atlanta City back. Palmer, lots of time and space here. Find Snyder. Snyder tries to find the switch to Saucedo. Couldn't get it off the ground there. Earlier action in the Georgia division earlier today. 
FC Birmingham beat Soccer Saves Lives 4-2. And the Rev score, Salcedo. There it is. Game could have gone anyway. There's been spurts on both ends. And Salcedo Goal. makes Atlanta City pay there. But the Revs still have to keep up the pressure. Reminder, as I said earlier in this broadcast, this Atlanta City team was down 2-1 last week against North Georgia United. And this Atlanta City team scored the next five goals. So still a lot of work to do for the Revs here, but they do draw first blood. Atlanta City trying to get the answer very quickly. Trying to find back post, and it's going to fall. Oh, it's going to keep it in there. Oh, now they're going to say it went out for a goal kick. Another action also in the Georgia division today is Atlanta United Academy takes down North Georgia United 6-1. to one. A lot of big score lines this year in the Georgia division, UPSL Premier. Also earlier today, FC Atlanta and Potros FC tie 1-1. One, one. Longino on the ball for the Revolution. Find Justin Dees. Justin Dees tries to get it to Stevenson. Stevenson's going to get on the end of this. Still in bounds. He's got a runner with him. Good battle there. Battle off the ball. Atlanta City did good to recover there. They're going to retain possession. Good fight there. Revolution did have Palmer running in there for Stevenson. He just wasn't able to find him. Longino for the Revs. Almost loses out on that. The Revs are going to recover. There's a foul. Off the ball there. The ref doesn't see it. Two Revs down. Atlanta City could have a chance here. Oh, and they're going to squander that one. It's two Revolution players down. Torres and Longino down for the Revs. No call in either one of those. like to take this time to thank some of our amazing sponsors. The Sellers Law Firm, Buddy Kelly Properties, State Farm, Brian Brakefield Agent, Element, Certified Public Accountants and Consultants, Suma Sportswear, Fellas Family Vision, and I Love McDonough. <coughs> also about to kick off. 
Golden United travels to KSA, two of the other perennial powerhouses in UPSL Premier Division. <coughs> Skerritt has the ball for the Revs for the throw in. Didick, back to Skerritt. Now Luke Charles. Ward. Back to Longino, seems to be okay now. Over to Skerritt. Palmer, back to Skerritt. Finds Palmer. In on goal here. Skerritt takes, oh, didn't take a shot. So he passed it over to Snyder. Snyder's got options. Sends it over to Saucedo, the goal scorer. Saucedo trying to find somebody as Torres now. Over to Longino. Lots of options in the box. Trying to recycle it back. Marley Stevenson battling out. Snyder comes to help. Atlanta City retains possession. City able to clear that one out. Revolution. That was Stevenson. Now Schneider. Schneider fouled from behind. Atlanta City very frustrated with this ref. But that was a foul. The one they called earlier probably wasn't. If anything, it might have been called for a handball, but Atlanta City probably hard done on that one, but this particular foul is definitely a foul. That's what I said earlier is, as a team, you don't want to lose composure when things aren't going your way because that's how you fall behind very quickly. You saw earlier, Revs were able to punish Atlanta City. Georgia Revolution, only three points. Well, at the start of today, only three points off the top after losing last weekend, but they do have a game in hand. This is prime territory for Tomas Didik, his left boot. Might be going right here. Luke, and they're gonna say offside. But that's what you wanna do. Rebs love to find Luke and Lewis on those set pieces. Thomas did it, gets there. Well, I guess he fouled there. City back on it quickly here. Still trying to find that answer. We are 30 minutes in now. Revolution lead. 1-0 over Atlanta City, the defending fall champions. Luke there for the Revs. Now Saucedo with a chance to break out here. Didick. Rev's doing good defensively here. Helping each other out. 
I just have to make sure they keep their concentration. As I said, this Atlanta City team is very dangerous and can score in loads. And there it is. Just as I said, they can score in loads. And what a golasso that was. Now the momentum switches back into Atlanta City's favor. 31 minutes in, 1-1 one, one now. Ref saw he might have been offside there, but the goal is still gonna count. And we're back to square here in Peachtree City. Mar gets his own turnover back. Finds Scarrett. There's a foul there. And the city player stuck his leg out. Torres, take this for the Revs. A little off, not on the same page there. Torres tried to knuckle it back post there, but runners just didn't go with him. Kick for Atlanta City, and we're back underway. Lights have come on here in Peachtree City. Atlanta City throw in. I say switches the play now. Scarrett gets that turnover, tries to send Palmer, but Atlanta City's there. Longino intercepts that. Now Scarrett. Vididic. Let's find Stevenson. Oh, almost turned over there. And there it is turned over. Atlanta City with a great chance here. Oh, what a toe poke by Luke Charles. And still couldn't get it out. Georgia Revolution emergency defending here. Luke again. And this time the ball does get out. Salcedo, scare it. Back to Saucedo, trying to find Snyder, and this might have been a handball there. Yep, they're gonna call it there. Crazy sequence of events there for the last few minutes. Reps almost got punished. That's what I, back to when I said that the Reds really need to keep concentration here. It was those mistakes that doomed them last week. Let's see if they can lock back in here. 10 minutes until in stoppage until halftime. Couldn't find anybody for the Rez. Went over everybody's head. A little miscommunication there. I think somebody was supposed to step back and receive that. Again, Snyder. 
Oh, Snyder tries to take the shot. He had Palmer wide open at the top of the key, but missed him. Could have been 2-1 there for the Revs. Intercepted by Didick. Now Snyder, back to Didick. Torres. Tries to chip it over to Palmer, but it gets deflected there. Now Luke Charles collects it for the Revs. Over to Skerritt, back to Charles. Torres. Longino trying to find Saucedo here. Oh, a little too far. That's going to be a Atlanta City goal kick. Promising little attack of play there for the Revs. Something they got to string together. I do feel like they've been able to take advantage of Atlanta City a little bit more when they keep the ball on the ground instead of trying to go over the top. Stevenson comes across. Palmer back to Charles. Misses it there. Atlanta City still on it. Revs have come back and recovered, though. As Torres intercepts that. But tries to get it to Didick, just behind him there. Now Atlanta City doing what they do best. And Stevenson intercepts both of those. Ah, just bad passes there for the Revs the last couple times. Didick. Stays in on that. And he's fouled. Did he's got to be careful here, trying to call for cards here. Longino tries to go quick. Trying to find Snyder over the top. Not going to get there. But Torres is going to clean it up. Find Saucedo. Saucedo tries to back heel to Palmer. They get crossed there. Good ingenuity by the Revs. That's what you need. The ideas are there, just lacking uh, key passes here and there. Sado comes up to challenge. That's going to go off for a Rebs throw. Perhaps wanted a card for him kicking the ball out there. Not going to get it. Scarrett with a throw into Saucedo. Saucedo flicks it to Didick. Didick doesn't get on the end of it, but he does draw a foul. Tries to send Palmer early. There's going to be another foul. And that's going to be a yellow card. Tactical foul there. Atlanta foul. City got caught napping. Had to make the foul there. Or the Revs are going to be in on goal. Concentration goes on both ends. I have said that the Revs need to concentrate, but so does Atlanta City. Especially now more than ever as they're getting more and more frustrated with every call that goes against them. Dangerous free kick opportunity for the Revs now. Luke Charles back post, and it's a goal! And there it is! <coughs> As I said, Luke Charles is always the danger man on set pieces. Makes Atlanta City pay there. Just a lack of concentration on Atlanta City part this time. It cost them. That Georgia Revolution goal was brought to you by number five, Luke Charles. <laughs> 4-0.
41st minute. Your Revolution leading 2-1 over Atlanta City here in Peachtree City. A back, back post header there by Luke Charles. Wow, how does Atlanta City respond here? Do they Atlanta City keep their composure here? Do they let it fall apart? Luke Charles in the last second defending. So Atlanta City tries to hit back quickly. And it's going to go for a goal. They score right away. They definitely kept their composure there. As we're back level again. Great match here tonight. Four goals in the first half. Both of Atlanta City goals have been spectacular ones. Revs just can't seem to keep that lead. So this Atlanta City team is dangerous. They can score quick and in bunches. Well, it's the Revs' turn. See what they can muster here. Stevenson picks that up in the mid. Ooh, it would have been offside. <clears throat> Good idea there. Sacedo trying to get the flick back again. It's going to be another revolution throw in. So Atlanta City makes a change at goalkeeper. Palmer flicks back to Schneider. And the city recovers. Justin D's there. Longino. Torres came back, got it to Longino. Now Charles. Charles just does the safe thing there. Kicks it out. Let's the defense get reset. Be a corner for Atlanta City here. <coughs> Can Atlanta City take the reins right before halftime here? Joshua Ward does a smart thing there. He grabs the ball and holds it <coughs> while he lets his team get set before he throws it back over to the corner. Heads up play there. City with the corner. Luke Charles clears it out. That ball stays in play as Shamal Palmer tries to get to it. Almost turns it over there. Charles back heels it away, but Atlanta City retains possession. Atlanta City, good opportunity here. Marley Stevens in there. It's going to be another corner for Atlanta City. 
The Reds have kind of lost their concentration themselves in the last couple of minutes as we are in stoppage time in first half. Didick tries to clear it out. Still in there for the Revs. Luke Charles puts a boot to it. Tries to find Saucedo. Saucedo can't get the touch there. Go off for a Revs throw. Torres gets picked. Fights to get possession back as now Justin Dees. Sacedo. Sacedo gets fouled. Sacedo tries to start quickly. Dumps it into the corner. Palmer back heels. Oh, Schneider. He's offside. Try to get back over to Palmer. Should be pretty close to halftime here. Oh, a miscue by Atlanta City here. Didick. Didick doesn't have any options. Tries the back heel over to Scarrett. Doesn't work. Scarrett. Gets a foot on him. It's going to go off for a goal kick here. Might be the last action here in the first half. And he puts it back into play. Justin Dees there for the Revs. Snyder tries to head it over to Didick. Atlanta City, ooh, tough touch there. Stevenson, Ward's there. Ref does have a look at his watch. Luke Longino tries to find Scarrett, and the ball's gonna go out. Throw in for Atlanta City. Back heel. City was still with possession here. Rev's got to get this one out, and looks like they're going to now. He finds Palmer. Palmer's got a runner. Decides to recycle to Torres, and that'll be halftime. An exciting first half as both teams throwing haymakers at each other. We should be in for an amazing second half, so stay tuned for this UPSL premier match. Between Georgia Revolution and Atlanta City.
everybody, welcome back here to the second half. This UPSL premiere match between the defending fall champs Atlanta City FC and your Georgia Revolution. Action packed first half, saw both teams draw even 2 2 at the half. It's almost like it's a whole new game now. Two wonder goals by Atlanta City. Two opportunistic goals by Georgia Revolution. Let's see how things stack up at the end of the second half. It's Didic on the ball for the Revolution. Didic. Didic gets us restarted. Longino tries the long ball. Recovers his own mistake. It'll be an Atlanta City throw. No changes for the Revolution in the second half. You know, again, scuffed ball there. Micah tries to send it back to Palmer. Palmer trying to head it to Sacedo. Sacedo's going to get on it. And it's going to roll out. They're going to say it's a revolution throw. Oh, nope, now they're going to change their mind. Snyder with the pressure. Ref's going to play advantage here. Snyder. It's going to fall right in the path of Atlanta City here. Now Snyder. Gets out of that scrum, but oh, can't keep it after he gets out. Didick with the interception. Atlanta City is able to get it back. Luke, can't clear it past the line. Atlanta City gets a cross in. Marley Stevenson there, settles it down, gets it over to Snyder, back to Stevenson. Stevenson, right in the path of Saucedo. Saucedo with a second. What an amazing run of play for the Revs. Stevenson able to get it out to Micah. Micah back to Stevenson. And Steven puts the perfect pass, perfect weighted pass right in front of Saucedo. And Saucedo is able to bury it. With his second goal tonight, number nine, Martin Saucedo. And it's fantastic for the Revs. But as we've seen already twice tonight, can the Revs keep this lead up? Atlanta City have been great at responding. Let's see what they do here. Those have been pretty good coming out of the half. A couple games this season they've scored right out of the half. That's what they do again tonight. Atlanta City. Revolution putting a lot of pressure, high line pressure here on Atlanta City. Trying to win a turnover in the attacking third. Doing good here. Oh, rather than, you know, fouls there. Ref calls Charlie over to talk to him. City starts quick. Trying to find that response. And that's going to be a corner. Let's see if 
The Reds can keep their concentration now. Keep this lead. Back heel attempt by Atlanta City. Luke Charles able to clear that one out. Palmer with a deft touch, but can't keep it. Still putting on pressure here. Joshua Ward with a fantastic save. First time he's really been called into action. The first two goals were, as I said, for Atlanta City, wonder goals. One of those, I don't think anybody in the world probably could have stopped some of those. But his first straight attempt at goal and he's able to save it. Another corner here for Atlanta City. That's gonna go out for a goal kick. I don't think Atlanta City knew much about that one. They're going to be looking to add on to their lead here. Saucedo on hat trick alert. Palmer comes back to clean that one out, but it is going to be an Atlanta City throw. Atlanta City trying to go quick here. Trying to get that response. They were able to get a quick response to the first two. That's gonna be a, a throw. Atlanta City tried to get a foul there. The ref wasn't having it. Sacedo tries to flick it over to Palmer. Atlanta City now. Ooh, Schneider with the interception. Now Didick. Stevenson behind him. Oh, did it not able to keep control of it? Free kick here for Atlanta City. Try Longino there. Gets the ball over to Palmer. Oh, Palmer tries to slip in Saucedo. He's on that hat trick. Schneider tries to tip it to himself, gets the turn. Yeah, he can't keep possession, he's gonna foul there. Unfortunate there for Schneider. Atlanta City having a couple sloppy touches here in the beginning of the second half. They keep it here. Didick, tricky feet, keeps it. Snyder. Snyder wanted a foul there, ref says no. Both teams being really physical now. Oh, almost a high boot there by Charlie. Somehow the Revs keep this as Palmer now has it. Turns, tries to send it over, Saucedo. Now Didick. Good clean play in the midfield. Exciting to watch. Both teams really going at each other now. Somehow the Revs leave somebody open on top of the key. Luckily they don't get punished for it here. Great end to end action. For the neutral fan, that's what you wanna see. If you're a fan of Atlanta City or Georgia Revolution, it can be tugging at the heartstrings a little. Trying to get a ball here. The Sellers Law Firm, you are not just a client, you are family. The Sellers Law Firm, proud title sponsor of your Georgia Revolution.
I'm not sure what's going on here. Ref having a conversation with his assistant. Any confusion about the ball. Well, we're going to get back underway here. We've got a goal kick for the Georgia Revolution. 55th minute, Georgia Revolution lead 3-2 to two over Atlanta City. Shamar Palmer finds Charlie. Charlie's fouled. That could be a card. That was very late, and that is a card. No frustration yeah, brewing over for Atlanta for City. They have been around the ref all night on most calls. That was definitely a late challenge there, though. Palmer sends it in, trying to find Saucedo. It's going to go over. Keeper's going to grab that one. A little ambitious there by the Rebs. Now Atlanta City we're trying to go. Stevenson, Marley Stevenson there. Oh, can't keep it there. And there's a foul. That might be a yellow card for Charlie, and there it is. Tactical foul for Charlie. He knew he was beat. He accepts that one. That's Atlanta City turn for a free kick. City sends the free kick in. Oh, somehow the Revs let a runner go free. I don't think Atlanta City knew much about that either. Couldn't quite see over the tall guys. Had he been more alert there, we might be tied again. Snyder. Torres. Snyder. Oh. Saucedo, ooh, Saucedo was there. That's gonna go out for a goal kick. Lucky there for Atlanta City. That could have been a fourth for the Revs. And a hat trick for Mr. Saucedo. Oh, we got two balls in play now. An Atlanta City substitute. Hits a yellow card for kicking another That's ball another under the field. Card for Atlanta City. It's not something you see every day. Not quite sure what the substitute thought he was doing there. Yellow card stacking up here for Atlanta City. They've got to be careful. We are only 58 minutes into this match. City gets back underway. Luke Charles ushers that ball out. Atlanta City throw and see if they go quick here. Foul on Atlanta City. Be a revolution kick. Other game going on right now between Dalton United and KSA. It's Georgia Revolution trying to get on here. That game up north is still scoreless. In the 22nd minute. Atlanta 
City have got to keep their cool here. They got to stay concentrated and mellow mind here. Could fall apart for them. Bicycle attempt there. Justin Dees, feeling ambitious. Might be a high boot. City on the run out. Joshua Ward sees that ball out. Atlanta City plays quick. Trying to flick over. Doesn't doesn't go off there. Definitely tell Atlanta City is playing with a little more urgency now. They didn't get that response as quick as they have after the first two goals. Got to make sure that they don't push up too much and allow a fourth goal to go in. Saucedo takes a hit from the shoulder to his head. Ref's got to stop this. That is a head injury. Atlanta City continue, though. Riley Stevenson with a great defense there. He goes around. And now they're going to call a foul on Marley. I, I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. Just free kick opportunity here for Atlanta City. Martin Saucedo seems okay. He did take a shot to the head. The refs didn't stop. The ref didn't stop play there. That's where the refs really have to concentrate now. It's going to be a corner. Joshua Ward wasn't able to keep that in. Another sequence here for Atlanta City. Revs have to get this one out. Charles ushers Salcedo tries to get it top of the box. Now Snyder just kicks it wide. Revs live to see another day. I can't believe I'm not allowed to use my ball. Atlanta City at the top of the box. Oh, very dangerous here. Rev's not happy, but did hear contact there. Couldn't tell if it was with the ball or with the feet. The ref deems that a foul. It gets even more dangerous here for the Revs. Revs can't seem to get out of their own way in the last couple of minutes. Yellow card to Justin Dees. That's a yellow card for the Georgia Revolution. Luckily for the Revs, it is outside the box. It is not a penalty, but it is 
It is as close as it gets. Refs have to watch that back post. Atlanta City can sneak one back there and have a runner on the ball. A lot of back and forth here. Atlanta City gets set. And it goes just wide of the corner. Atlanta City squander a chance there. Rebs are gonna make a couple substitutions now. So is Atlanta City. Both teams making two subs. Mar Palmer and Thomas did it come out for the Revs. <laughs> Michael Emanuel comes on. Thomas did it. To that other player here in just a minute. <laughs> Micah tries the back heel. That ball stays in. Gonna be a corner for the revolution as Lennox Dixon was the other rev that came into the match. For Shamar Palmer. Rev's corner comes in. Luke can't get up for that one. Didn't leave his feet, luckily for Atlanta City. Now Lennox Dixon. Marley to Luke. Luke taps it over to Saucedo and now Snyder. He's offside. Substitutions for Georgia Revolution coming off the pitch was number 10, Thomas Deduck, and number 22, Shamar Planer coming on is Michael Emanuel, number 11, and number 19, Lennox Dixon. Now Justin Dees comes out for the Revolution, and Lewis Green comes in, so now we have the two towers in the center. Free kicks are going to get a little more interesting for the Revolution. Martin Sacedo gets that one. Snyder on the ball now. Trying to find Dixon. He's going to find him. Dixon got caught between Dixon's feet there, but he stays with it. Keeps it. Still in possession. Tries to center it, but nobody's there. A little unlucky there for the Revolution. 69th minute. Rev still leading 3-2. to two. As Atlanta City now gets a chance here. Oh, what a stop by Joshua Ward. Still in trouble here, and he makes another save, and another two fantastic saves. Atlanta City player tries to make a lot of it, but ref says no. Great saves by Joshua Ward there. Mm, 
That's not good news if you're a Revolution fan as Joshua Ward is down. Reds do have a keeper. Daniel Cortez on the bench. Hopefully this is just a little stinger for Josh. He's been fantastic today. Fans, we'd like to thank all of our amazing sponsors. The Sellers Law Firm, Buddy Kelly Properties, State Farm, Ryan Brakefield Agent, Element Certified Public Accountants and Consultants, Suma Sports, Bellas Family Zoo, and I Love McDonough. Joshua Ward is going to stay in and continue. As he boots it long, trying to find Snyder. Snyder tries to get over Saucedo. Flick doesn't go quite the right direction. As Marley Stevenson steps on that. And it's going to find Michael Emanuel. Oh, just wide. Revolution substitutes coming in clutch. When it sticks in earlier, now Michael Emanuel. Do need to remind you that Lewis Green has come in for the Revolution. So we do have the two towers in defense. It's going to be harder for Atlanta City to crack it now. Snyder gets that. Micah tries to find the corner, still on the ball. I'm not sure how that's a foul on Snyder. But that's how the ref calls it. It'll be a free kick to Atlanta City. Atlanta City trying to go quick again. They were successful in their two goals on that. Two wonder goals. Stevenson with the step. It's going to be a revolution throw in. Marley Stevenson putting in a man of the match performance tonight. Had that fantastic assist earlier tonight and has just fought off every ball. Oh, bad touch by Saucedo. 73rd minute. Lucas Fornasini has come in for the Revolution, making his UPSL premiere debut tonight. Lucas is on the Division I Rebs Academy team coming up. Congrats, Lucas, on making his senior team debut tonight. Sato, Torres, Torres tries to find Snyder, it's not there. Substitution for the Georgia Revolution coming off the pitch with number 18, Charlie Longino. Coming on is number 23 and making his UPSL Premier League debut number 23, Fornasini. That looks like Schneider's night is done. For Schneider is Elaine Skerritt. Now both Skerritt twins are on the pitch now for the Revolution. That's Elaine on the ball now. Rev still putting on pressure. Rev's doing great with their press. Trying to get that turnover. Oh, 
Elaine finds Dixon. Dixon to Emmanuel. Oh, almost there. Atlanta City starts quick. Rev's got to pay attention. Elaine Scarrett stops that. Now the twin. Substitution for Georgia Revolution coming off the pitch was number 17, Micah Schneider. Coming on the pitch was number 15, Elaine Scarrett. Revs get a free kick, and as I said, this is where the danger comes in. And Charles and Lewis Green are both up for the Revolution. Lewis Green actually by himself right now, unmarked. Far post. Orsini, and there's the green. And they're gonna say Lewis Green was off. Lance City starts quick. Trying to get that equalizer. Running out of time. And that runs out for Atlanta City. It's gonna be a revolution throw. Rev's gonna take their time getting this in. Marley Stevenson with the throw for the Revs. Ref tells him back it up. Sacedo tries to get the advantage. Fornicini. Fornicini, another tall body in there. Michael Emanuel. Over to one of the Scarrett twins. Lennox Dixon. Tried to push off the ball there. Still in possession. Somehow Atlanta City comes out with it. That's gonna be a foul on, on Lewis Green. Atlanta City goes quick. Luke Charles was there. Saw that one out. Atlanta City desperately trying to get this equalizer. Garrett clears that out of danger for the Revs. Michael Emanuel tries to keep it in. Oh, dangerous kick there. That might be a card. And it's gonna be a card for Lennox Dixon. The Revs have gotta keep calm. They've gotta keep their composure here. Same as Atlanta City. Here they go. Oh, Rev says no. Free kick here for Atlanta City. They're throwing numbers forward. It's not gonna clear the first, and they're gonna call that a handball. Unlucky there for Atlanta City. Yeah, the Revs are starting to lose their composure here. They gotta get it under control. Luke Charles, the captain, trying to settle his guys down. Apparently something happened off the ball. Lennox Dixon's not happy about it, but you gotta play on. Joshua Ward with the free kick. Fornicini gets that down. Elaine Scarrett can't keep it. Fighting, fighting, and Atlanta City's gonna come out with it. <coughs> Lewis Green deflects that. Elaine Scarrett tr clears that out. It's gonna, it's gonna be a throw in for Atlanta City. Michael Emanuel, there to steal it. Gets stolen back though. Fornicini comes in hard. Making sure people know who he is on his debut. I 
Cotton City, time's ticking. We are in the 81st minute now. Ooh, Revs, lucky to get that one out. Ornacini just clears that. Atlanta City out wide. Harley Stevenson defending. Not giving any ground. Ball's gonna fall. Rev's got it. Trying to send Michael Emanuel. They just can't seem to get that pass going right now. Rev's gotta slow things down a little bit. It's gonna be a goal kick. Joshua Ward, another smart play there. Let the ball roll out instead of grabbing it. Waste a little more time. We can creep into the 82nd minute. Rev still holding on to that 3-2 lead that they got early in this second half. Rev's could have added about two more. Had some prime chances. Couldn't put them down. Fornicini. Michael Emanuel. Can't keep that. Atlanta City having a lot of possession here in the last five minutes. Dangerous for the revolution. Ball's cleared out. Lane Scare tried to get on it. A ball cleared out from his twin, Alik. That ball's intercepted. Goes right back. Alik thought he had that one. Gonna be another foul on the Revs. Dangerous times for the Revolution. Trying to see this out. City with the free kick, going far post. Marley Stevenson's there. Tries to get it out. Torres is there and he's fouled. Fourth minute, getting closer for the revolution. See if they can see this out. Revolution throw in. Halftime up north between Dalton United and KSA, still 0-0 between two of the perennial powers in UPSL Georgia Division. Not the case here as the Rebs lead, lead three to two. Closer. 84th minute. Goal here would do the Rebs very well as they still try to See this one out. Finds Lennox Dixon in the corner. Lennox doing a good job. Back to Elaine, Scarrett. Finds Saucedo, back to Elaine. Elaine's got a shot, oh, and he doesn't quite get his foot around it. That was another good sequence by the Revs. Hard done, that would have been really good to get a goal there to see this one out. Sometimes you gotta ha you have to take advantage of those situations. Hopefully it doesn't come back to harm them. <coughs> Lena said he gets restarted here. They've got to be more urgent here. They are running out of time to get an equalizer and possibly a winner. 
Rev's looking to finish this off. Rev's gonna call handball here on the Revolution. Revolution's gotta get back. Long ball. Loose Green sees that out. Alix Garrett fighting there on the end. It's gonna be a Revolution throw. Ref tells Malik to go back there. Rev's going to make another substitution here. It's Torres' night is over. Coming in for Torres is Eric Rodriguez. Another tall body out there. Now there's four for the Revs. Definitely have the size advantage now. Marley Stevenson with the recovery. Atlanta City still has it. Atlanta City wanted a, a penalty there, but that was not a penalty. Substitution, Georgia Revolution. Coming off the pitch was number 21, Elmer Torres. Coming onto the pitch was 14, Eric Rodriguez. Rebs really got to focus again as Atlanta City takes it short. Marley Stevenson. And now they get the penalty. Revs couldn't see it out. Let's see if Joshua Ward can have another superhuman effort. Unfortunate there for the Revolution as they were so, so close to seeing it out. And we'll see if Joshua Ward can stop another penalty. He stopped one two weeks ago. And Joshua Ward with another penalty stop. Can you believe it? The second one in three weeks keeps the Revs on top as we are in the 89th minute. Now Lennox Dixon. Lennox Dixon takes it to the corner. Smart move. Tries to make the turn. He's not going to be able to. And it's going to be a foul. Joshua Ward has been superhuman between the sticks tonight. And now the size advantage comes into play, although Lewis Green is staying back for this one. Oh, somehow the Revs don't squirt that one in. And now Atlanta City on the run. Lewis Green there clears it long. We are in the 90th minute. No telling how much stoppage time. There was a couple injuries, a penalty, a couple substitutions. Revs still have work to do. Atlanta City. On the run, Scarrett there. Now Dixon. He goes across. Oh, unfortunate miscommunication there. Michael Emanuel sees that ball out. Five seconds until stoppage time starts. Oh, 
Ornisani gets that one out. Still falls to Atlanta City. Ball just ping-ponging back and forth in the middle third. See if somebody can settle it down and get something going. It's Michael Emanuel for the Revs. Tries to run that out. It's going to be a Revs throw. Revs throw. Rodriguez can't keep that down. Ornacini takes a stab. It goes by. Atlanta City still on the ball. Dangerous. Farley Stevenson. Skerritt clears it out. Skerritt, the one who cleared the ball, is hurt. That's a leak, Skerritt. You're in the 92nd minute now. Surely there's going to be more time added on for this. Nervy times if you're a Revolution fan. Alik is up on his feet. He is feeling that one, though. And it will be an Atlanta City throw as play commences. Going to be an Atlanta City throw again as they go quick. They try to. Miscommunication between teammates. Lennox Dixon. Oh, that was a clear push. Yellow card. That's a yellow card for Atlanta City. 93rd minute. Luke Charles sends that ball in, trying to find Michael Emanuel. Atlanta City throw. Lance City throwing things forward. They've got to be quick here. Revolution head that back out. <laughs> Rebs trying to see this out. Get a valuable three points. Lance City trying to take the corner, and they do. Oh, hey, Luke Charles sends that out for a corner. Atlanta City doing it quickly. Rebs got to pay attention here. 94th minute. Does Atlanta City have something late? Can they salvage a point out of this? Joshua Ward, another corner. Does a smart play there, punches that one out. Wastes a little more time. Danger times for the Revolution. Comes back in, goes way wide. Can Atlanta City keep it in? And they do. Revs on it. Revs to Stevenson. Oh, Stevenson tries to find another great pass, but Atlanta City gets it back. Got to recover here. Great tackle by Michael Emanuel. And Elaine Scarrett sees that one out. 95th minute. It's going to be a substitution for the Revolution here. It's Martin Saucedo comes out. So it's going to be a defensive sub here for the Revolution. Carson Clayton coming in for the Revs. Atlanta City now, running out of time. Cleared out by Rodriguez, but not far enough. They take the shot. That's gonna be a goal kick. We are reaching the 96th minute. Substitution for Georgia Revolution coming off was number nine, Martin Saucedo. Coming out of the pitch was number 12, Carson Clayton. 
96 minute revs barely holding on to a 3-2 lead that ball goes out it's gonna be a revolution throw as with the throw in Long throw in here. Rodriguez, Michael Emanuel. Oh, they're gonna call a foul. Atlanta City's gotta go quick. Carson Clayton over the top, trying to find Linda Dixon, but that does spend a couple precious moments. We now enter the 97th minute. That's a foul. Fornicini, dangerous here. Atlanta City takes it quick. Rev's got to pay attention. Oh, that's a terrible foul by Alik. Oh. I believe that was a foul <laughs> for Atlanta City, but the ref calls it the other direction somehow. Huge break for the Revs there. Halfway through the 97th minute. And that's it. Revolution gets a huge three points against the defending fall Georgia Premier Division champions. Great performances by Marley Stevenson and Joshua Ward with a late PK block to keep the Revs in it. Revs keep pace with the top of the table with the game in hand. Next week, Georgia, Georgia Revolution, Revolution travel far south Sunday, to play Legends FC. To Legends FC. Hope to see you guys then. Justin Atlanta, Murphy, Indiana. voice of Georgia Revolution, we'll signing off from Peachtree City, Moba Stadium, where the Georgia Revolution we'll have beaten Atlanta Saturday, City three goals to two.